Hello, today I have three hauls. The first is our Thanksgiving meal haul. Lauda ran out and got everything we need actually last weekend, but I just didn't get around to filming it, so I'm gonna pull that all out and show you what we're having for Thanksgiving. I have our St. Nicholas Day haul, mostly from Dollar Tree and the 99 cent only store, although one special thing came from a special store. You'll have to watch that part to see. And then the third haul is the gifts that I'm getting for my nieces and nephews. Well, that we're getting. It was loud as money too. <laughs> um, but I went out and ran and bought everything just because I like shopping for that kind of stuff. So those are the three hauls today. Hopefully you enjoy them. Here is our small Thanksgiving meal haul. It is just gonna be Lauda, myself, and Ani. Unless my uncle decides to come, we're kind of leaving it up to him if he's comfortable or not, just with the risk of COVID and all that good stuff. If he does come, we're actually gonna sit in two different rooms, but within eyesight and you know talking distance, probably about 10 feet apart, and have masks on other than when we're not eating, just because that's what feels right for us. But at any rate, we have some healthy veggies to snack on while we're cooking. This way we don't fill up too much. We get some vit vitamins and minerals in before the main event. We had decided again, since it's a smaller group of us, just to do a ham because Ani likes ham and I know how to use ham in leftover breakfast, lunch, and dinners for Lauda and Ani. Obviously I won't eat any. If my uncle comes, we'll probably send him home with some if there's leftovers. Funny enough, despite deciding to do only ham, HEB had a deal where if you bought a ham, you got a turkey for free. We decided to go ahead and get this just because if we end up staying here for Christmas instead of going to visit my family, this will be a good option to have and obviously it was free. As far as rolls go, I'm a rolls snob. If I can't have my grandma's homemade rolls, I just want something quick and easy. These definitely fit that bill. We've had them before. Nothing special, but they're pretty tasty. We're obviously having the classic mashed potatoes. We have butter and stuff like that in the fridge already, so I didn't pull it out for the haul, but mashed potatoes. Controversial decision here. Instead of going mac and cheese, we are going with one of Lauda's family's recipes, and that is a chipotle baked pasta dish. So you need um, chipotle, an adobo, sour cream, rotini, and then we'll add some fresh cilantro in as well, but that comes out so good. We're having the classic green bean casserole, so we have the fixings here. I do add a little soy sauce to mine, but we have that in the fridge as well. And then for our last side dish, we decided to go easy and just have some corn. We all like this, not too expensive, and we're not gonna have too many leftovers with that. So that's everything for the main meal that we'll be having. And then for dessert, I let Lauda decide because I'm not a huge dessert person. She loves these Edwards chocolate cream pie. This is one last thing of dishes to have to do and she really likes it. I'm sure Ani will like it. So yeah, that is our Thanksgiving meal haul. Pretty short and sweet, but it's a small group of us. All right, part two of the haul is wrapping up Thanksgiving. I just got us some really basic fall plates because these were on clearance at the 99 cent only store. So I grabbed those. Um, this year we were not gonna buy any Christmas decor. However, while I was at the 99 cent only store, they happen to have stocking hangers and we do need some. I'd forgotten, we don't have any. So Lauda and I have these Buffalo check ones that I thought were pretty cute. And then I've got Ani, a little Santa one. The rest of the haul is for St. Nicholas's Day, and if you don't know what that is, it's a Catholic holiday where kids put their shoes out overnight and St. Nick leaves them just a few small treats. Lauda and I have always done that, and even though we're not necessarily practicing Catholics, it's just a fun tradition to carry on with Ani. So this is what I got for that. I got us each a little Mickey Mouse Christmas cup, mostly to put our candy in so it doesn't have to go actually inside of our shoes. For Lauda, I got her a Kickstart a Slim Jim with cheese, and then she loves Reese's and Kit Kats. I think she likes the ones with the Reese's Pieces too, but if she doesn't like those, I can obviously help her eat those. So that's for her. For me, I got some Sunkissed gummies, a Dove chocolate, and this little chocolate sea salt, as well as an energy drink. For Ani, I did go ahead and get her some candy. She has these little chocolate covered marshmallow Santa Clauses a little book about um, holiday cheer with Mickey and Minnie in it. I got her some scented twist up crayons because she loves to color. And then this squeezy styrofoam duck, which we'll obviously have to supervise her with, but it's cute. And then last but not least, I went to the Hallmark store and got us ornaments. I've gotten Lauda a couple's ornament every year we've been together. So that's this year's. And then Ani 
We're starting the tradition of an ornament every year, so I thought one that said 2020 would be good. I had to move out of the kitchen and into the living room to do the gift haul for my nieces and nephews because there's a lot of little things and they're all scattered out around me. But my nieces and nephews range in age from six at the oldest, two down to the youngest, and it's boy, girl, girl, boy in age order. But let me show you what I got them. I'm gonna start with my two-year-old nephew. They have a bit of a drive from their house to my parents' house, so I thought this might be handy on the ride back. Some Color Wonder PJ Masks coloring sheets. There are 15 coloring pages and three markers. I don't know if he likes to color, but I feel like most little kids do. And these are nice because obviously the markers only work on the paper, so he's not gonna color himself. Now, he is a dino fanatic. So he's the only one that up till now I have either gift wrapping or gift bag for because I found this and it was too good to pass up. And there were only two left, so I didn't want them to sell out. I also got him this dino balancing game. And I know it says animal, but on the back, you can see there is a dino one and that is the one that's in here. I opened it to be sure. This is a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be, so it might be a little too difficult for him right now, but if nothing else, I think he'll like playing with the little wooden dino pieces. And then last but not least, I got him a stuffed Triceratops. This was too cute to pass up and it is so soft. So that is all for him. Um, we did roughly by price instead of versus like number of things. I did try to keep the older kids items roughly similar in number just because I feel like when you get to that age, you aren't worried about how much things cost, but it can sometimes hurt your feelings if you feel like somebody got a lot more than you. So he's young enough at two that I just got him a few things that are more expensive, but you'll see with the other kids, they have a bigger number of things. You'll also notice that the two girls have very similar items. They're only about six months apart. One is about to turn five and the other is four and a half. So I wanted theirs to be pretty close just to avoid any potential problems there. So this is what I got for one of the girls. I got these little yoga cards. These were just from the Dollar Tree, but they were too cute to pass up. I think they'll be a hit for my niece that, again, has the car ride. Her brother is the two-year-old. I got this Shimmer and Shine Color Wonder set. Again, it's 15 markers, or 15 coloring pages, three markers. Again, I just thought it would be useful on the ride back. Ooh. And it's small, so it's easy to transport. These glitter paint sticks for different crafts. A Unicreatures activity book. That comes with stickers and coloring sheets. I just thought these were cute. I think I got these at Dollar General a while ago. Little ornaments. A little Polly Pocket blind bag. I feel like all little kids like those. She really likes the My Little Ponies, so I got this Mashem. And then last but not least, a cute little unicorn squishable. The girls' gifts right now are actually a little cheaper than the boys' gifts, but they have a bigger number of things. So I'm going back and forth as to whether or not I'm gonna get them something else or just call it close enough to even. So again, my other niece's items are very, very similar. She also got a little unicorn plush. This is the same one if you saw the one that I got Ani. It's the same brand. She likes Elsa, so I got her this little mashem. Um, she got Elsa, and then who knows what the other one is. My guess is it's like Olaf or Sven or one of those characters. She also got the yoga cards. She's a wild little thing, so I thought that'd be a good idea. She actually lives close to my parents, so I got her these markers that, while not color wonder, they do come with a special one that, in theory, can erase what you've colored. I thought those were cool. I would have liked those. She also got the glitter paint sticks. She got this little Pugs pencil case. And then these last three are the exact same as my other niece. She got a Polly Pocket blind bag. And I do know for a fact she really does like blind bags. A Unicreature sticker activity pad. And then the scratch ornament kit for a dollar. And then last but not least, my nephew, he's the oldest. He loves doing art projects. So that is sort of the theme of his. He got paint sticks as well. Not the glittery ones. He got these brush style markers. He got this like make your own eraser kit. I thought they were cute. It does say eight and up. That um, doesn't look too complicated for me. I think it's mostly probably the spine motor to add the detail. But if nothing else, I'm happy to help him over there or I'm sure his mom or dad would help him. 
he got these scratchable sticker and numbers. Um, and these are stickers. I didn't give the stickers to the younger kids just because I thought it was more likely they would stick them to something their parents don't want them stuck to. And then last but not least for him, he got this big scratch art kit. It comes with all kinds of stuff. It has 50 scratch boards, 16 shaped scratch cards, 16 colored ribbons, 20 stylus, styluses, four stencils, and then a brush to like wipe the dust away. So that's what I got him. Like I said, I think I'm done. I might get one or two more things for the girls, but I really feel like looking at what everybody got, it looks equal and price wise, I'm only off by maybe $5 here or there. So my guess is I'm just gonna call this done. <laughs> and then the only other thing I have to do is either wrap them, put them in a gift box or a gift bag. I haven't quite decided yet. It'll probably depend on whether or not we're able to travel there or if I have to mail everything. But hopefully if you have kids in that age range, this gave you some ideas, um, probably for stocking stuffers. These aren't big gifts. When I was a kid, I really liked getting these sort of like mystery bags of lots of little things instead of the big gifts that I did like. Um, but these were always a little bit more fun for me to open. Oh, look who joined me. It's your first day of break, technically, right? Uh-huh, that's well, why I have this hair. The day that we're filming it, it'll go up tomorrow. But anyway, so those are our hauls for Thanksgiving, for St. Nicholas Day, and for the nieces and nephews for Christmas. We hope you enjoyed. Bye! Bye.